Welcome back Team Grandmind to another brand new Black Ops 3 DLC Eclipse video. Today we're playing a brand new map man, the Zombies map which is Zetsobu no Shima. And this map is crazy bro and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn on the power. As you just saw there, you want to pick up that bucket from the spawn man. That is the first step to be able to turn on the power because with that bucket we're going to have to fill it up with water and turn on some, uh, some generators man. So the first one, you want to come this left side off spawn, open up these two doors man. And uh, at the far back here, you'll see there's like some blue water. You want to dip your bucket in that, press square, and it will fill it up for you. And once you have it filled up, man, you'll be good to do the first step of turning on the power, which is basically at the top of laboratory A right here. So you make your way up to the steps, open up that door, and boom, place it in that generator there, and that will be the first one done. And here's a quick little tip, guys. Instead of like opening more doors and making your way to different, uh, to different areas where the water is available, pick it up there and make your way to the second laboratory, which is laboratory number B. So we're going to make our way to that now. We've picked up our second bucket of water from that same area we got our first one. As you can see there, the bunker has only got like one green light you want to make them both go green and by doing a second step that is exactly what will happen so make your way up to laboratory number uh, not number b laboratory b i mean just full stop b man and put your water in same process as the first man there we go put the water in and now both of the lights on the bunker will be available to uh, open up the doors, man. And when you open up these doors, you're going to find two or three zombies and you want to make sure you spray them down nice and quickly or else they will evolve into those infected orange zombies, man. So just make sure you spray and pray before opening that door and then you want to make your way to the first door on the left after that perk machine, which is this one. And right opposite you, you will see the power button. However, you cannot turn that on quite yet, man. You need to do one more step before you can turn the power on fully because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not... Well... I was going to say it's temporary. No, it's not temporary. It's temporary after you do one laboratory, then you do a second, then you get it permanently. This is the last step. You make your way into this water little area, man. And you can also take your breath if you hop up and down these little holes here, which is very important, man, or else you will drown, man. Especially if the zombies are hitting you and you're one shot and you're drowning. Well, you know, that's going to equal death. So just take out all those zombies. There's like around 10 of them that are going to spawn. And once you do so, the gate will open. And boom, that is the power, baby. That is how you turn it on. And you have access to all the perks on the map once you do so, which, uh, which is obviously very useful, man, for playing zombies. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, guys, do smash a big old like on it and subscribe for way more videos, man. I'm going to be covering so much of the DLC Eclipse, especially zombies, man. I really want to get into these, like, zombie tutorial videos and whatnot. So yeah, guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. Thanks for watching, and peace. You bitch, chill.